hello and welcome everyone welcome to um another live stream today we'll be doing something a bit different and something uh, which i've not done for a long time i can't actually remember how long now uh but it's been a while since i've done a a modding video and uh i've been asked quite a few times recently and i myself want to do it as well so yeah here we are and hopefully today we will have um um a live stream on how to make or create a new general for command and conquer general zero hour uh the title does suggest there are one of two things which i do mention want to mention before that though um and first of all I just want to give a shout out shout out to uh predator from the contour mod uh one of the developers vovin from the chaos mod uh developer of that and also um shout out to uh noel who's a developer of many mods you might know him already if you're into mods so there's a uh, reborn operation firestorm and many many others that he actually made or helped make uh the, the reason i'm giving these lot a shout out is because uh, it's been a long time since i've done modding like literally years or it had been anyway and uh so i wanted to make a new general and here as you can see these are my things that i want and there's some things I didn't know how to do or something I'd forgotten. So I asked the three people and they either guided me or told me what to do or helped me out anyway. And then I was able to practice some things. So shout out to them guys uh, for helping me out. And secondly, before I do actually start now, I don't, just want to say, um, please don't feel offended or unhappy if I don't answer your questions. Um, straight away if you have any questions. Uh, because... Um, I'm, I don't want to go off topic too much and secondly it's been a long time since I've done modding so um, the reason I kind of stopped last time was because I kind of run out of time because it takes a lot of time to plan and uh, uh, yeah just planning everything it takes a lot of time so that's why uh, that's why it just felt hard for me last time so now I'll come back to it I don't really want to uh, stop halfway or anything so if I don't answer your questions, uh, please don't feel up and do anything. I can always do them later, like uh, maybe in the comments or Discord. But anyway, yeah, I think we can start. So we got all the files here. I'm not actually going to uh, show you how to get these files because I've already got this in a video already, which uh, actually I'll just uh, link it up for you guys. So you guys can, uh, um, you can find it yourself. So there you go. Uh, so basically if you get this link over here, you'll see my, how to get these files. Okay, so we do have everything over here. I'm not going to go through everything right now, but I'll go through some of the main things. So basically I'm going to make a USA boss general. Um, it's not going to be OP or anything. It's just going to be a USA general that follows a boss general. So what I mean by that is going to have, um, for example, uh, all units from all factions and buildings and stuff, which is why I'm calling it a boss. Um, yeah, that's the only reason, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so it's going to be a boss kind of t uh, general, but it's going to be following USA. Uh, so you do have vehicles, we'll have drones and all buildings, spawn ranges, and the auto repair as well. I'm going to try to do as much as I can today and then hopefully some more, some of the time. So these are going to be the, actually, you don't need that anymore. I've done a lot of uh, testing and stuff. Uh, welcome, welcome, people. Sorry, I don't know how to read your name. Uh, but welcome to everyone that's here. Thank you for coming. Please do say hi. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to have USA Command Center, Nuclear Reactor, No Mines, because we are USA, uh, GLA Supply Stash, USA Barracks, USA War Factory, uh, Air Force, Airfield, EMP Patriot, Stinger Site from the GLA, uh, Bunker, No Mines Allowed, uh, Speaker Tower, we're going to have a black market, and it's not going to require Palace, it's going to require a War Factory, Airfield, or Strategy Center. Strategy Center, Particle Uplink, Cannon. Uh, so the next thing, uh, so I've done a lot of planning. I've spent like ages, hours and hours, and asking people and stuff, and working stuff out. So we're going to have, uh, supplies actually will have workers, but they can't actually build anything. They only collect. Uh, you're going to have a Chinook, but it's going to cost 1200 and you can only get it after getting a wall factory or airfield. Uh, in the barracks, what I decided to do is go with the Demo Rebel, uh, oh, welcome, Bossy. Yes, this is not really a boss. If you just joined, I just mentioned that. It, it's just named boss. It's not actually a boss. So I want it to be a fun general that I can play with. Uh, yeah. General Adam. Oh, welcome. So yeah, so we have uh, rebels from the demo general. So you can get booby traps. 
uh, RPGs, standard ones, missile defenders, you're going to have to get a strategy center. So it's not, it's a USA general, but with late missile defenders. Uh, then you also are going, going to have uh, hijackers from the stealth general. Actually, I should write that here. Stealth hijacker. But you have to get a war factory or airfield to actually build it. Uh, it's going to be a bit more expensive, but it's going to build faster. Welcome, many of you. Welcome, welcome. Uh, you're also going to get Colonel Burton, a standard, and then Jean Kel, but strategy center plus particle opening cannon. So you need quite a bit for that. Uh, Pathfinder, going to be 1.04 plus style. So more expensive, takes longer. Capture upgrade standard. Flashbangs. Now we can see there's no ranges, but flashbangs is because all the buildings will spawn ranges. So yeah, that's why. Uh, worker shoes, because you do our workers. And it's going to be earlier on. And the reason for that is because it's a uh, USA and I think, well, I'm not so sure, but USA might need extra cash and GLA collects slower. So you can get early worker shoes. Anthrax Gamma, the reason for this is I'll try to see how he's going to fight early on. Uh, and it's going to need uh, RPGs early on, possibly. So for that reason, you might need to upgrade them quicker. But anyway, uh, Paladin tanks. So cheaper, 1.04 plus style. Uh, technicals, uh, I'm still not so sure what this is going to be, but yeah. I've got so far 7 seconds. So usually 10. But remember, without power, it's going to take longer. Gatling tank, Toxin uh, toxin General, Toxin Tractor. Ambulance, Microwave tank, needs strategy center. Battle Master, needs strategy center. So this is going to be the, like the... Um, tier 3 tank or the high ranked tank and this is going to be the standard tank uh sentry drone i uh, 1.04 plus style inferno cannon you can get it earlier if you get a wall factory plus airfield uh rocket boogies uh strategy center repair drone now this is something already in the game uh, avenger needs strategy center amphibious transport um i had thought at the end because originally they weren't going to be a chinook i'm not so sure if i'm going to keep that yet but i might take it out uh so in that uh, case you can have this for transport okay airfield so you've got standard raptors uh stealth fighters from the air force general for the pdls uh standard auroras you got air force general comanches but um 1400 now so because you're not meant to be as strong as the air force helix cheaper but you need to require strategy center then you also get the upgrades for your plane that's standard speaker tower will have sub uh, subliminal messaging upgrade by the way, welcome to everyone here. There's so many of you here already. Nice. Okay. Uh, black market. Black market will have supply lines, composite armor, chain guns, drone armor, AP rockets. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't. I don't mind. Uh, I, I you up for it? If you are, then I will do. Um, if you get enough people. Okay. Strike the center. Supply lines. So I've done it twice. Now the thing with this general, I feel like it's gonna be kind of low on money. Uh, no, we're making a new boss general. We're not modding boss general. We're making a new one. So the, that's the reason you can get uh, worker shoes early and supply lines. Uh, you can get early as well for your oils. But also, I'm going to make the black markets um, get supply lines. So just like drop zones get supply lines. In this case, black market will get supply lines. Composite armor. All the units will get composite armor. Uh, including all the defenses. Because this is meant to be basically a USA boss. Uh, AKA USA armor. So this is like a USA armor general. Okay, so I'm also going to get Air Force carpet, but it's going to be rank 5. But it's only deployable from the strategy center. Um, intelligence, which will be, again, only deployable from the strategy, cent strategy, sorry, strategy center. The reason for this is... Um... Oh, nice. Thank you, Bossy. The reason this is not going to be on the sidebar. Normally on the sidebar, you can have the... Uh, you have the icons, but these are not going to be on the side part, the sidebar. The reason is I want this general to be okay during mid game and stronger late game. So, but because I don't want it to be OP, so you're going to have to click on strategy center to use these things. I know it doesn't make a big difference, but it just slow you down. Um, advanced training, composite armor, you'll see it comes twice because this is one of the things that the general needs. It needs composite armor, auto loader, and rocket boogie. Particle cannon and black napalm. And the reason this is so late. Is because you'll see the Inferno Cannon, it doesn't need a strategy center. Uh, so I don't want it to be OP. Uh, that's why I made it late. Uh, but yeah, I'll just go through these, then we can start, hopefully. I'm not going to go through these. I've already been through some of them now. So you're going to get a Battlemaster Vet 2, Emergency Repair, Frenzy, and a Drone at rank 1. And then you, uh, But uh, Frenzy and Emergency Repair will be level 2s. 
And then you also have cash bounty, uh, tank drop, and cash shack level 2, mines, and pathfinders. So that's all for a uh, rank 3 over here. You'll see there's nothing actually that's powerful over here. Nothing actually does damage apart from the mines. And uh, then you also have uh, a rank 5 Air Force carpet, fuel air bomb, oh, fuel air bomb, uh, EMP, and also leaflet drop. So, yeah, this is going to be my general. So, we're going to start you off now, hopefully. Uh, so we can move this here so you guys can see uh, the icon so yeah so first of all you need your files over here I've already pasted it so I'll just put, paste it again if you guys watch this video you'll see the uh, how to get these files so now we're gonna go first to this one bear with me if, if I'm a bit slow and then you want to go into your general zero hour folder and you want to go into data and you're gonna make a new folder any and you can open that and make a new folder object okay now go back uh so i could have done it with my mouse but in case people don't get it so inside the any folder you want to right click and paste so you got the play template okay and now what you're going to do is uh sorry just give me a second let me just quickly check the chart okay yeah okay so you're going to open this and we are going to Let's make it bigger. So we're going to go down to the bottom here and we are going to copy this. We are going to copy the play template. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to rename everything that's boss. We're going to rename it to boss two. So your boss two here, boss two here. If I do make mistakes, I'm sorry, just uh, bear with me. So this is going to be USA actually. And then playable side. Yes. Uh, start money. Okay. The color. So the color of the boss channel, I don't want it to be green. Uh, this is not really important, but I'll just do it now. So it's going to be blue, but actually I'll give it a bit of a tint um, of a different color. Okay, so now the reason I copied the boss generally is because I want uh, many things from the boss. So for example, this, I definitely want that. Uh, some stuff is going to be USA, but some stuff is going to be boss. So I want all three sciences. So that means, for example, I can get cash bounty. I can get uh, carpet bomb and all the other things that you need for uh, a China science. Uh, so that's why you need this here. Okay, now these things over here you can rename to whatever you want. So I'm going to change this to um, uh, again boss two, boss two, boss two. We'll come back to this later. Uh, okay, so over here we also need to change this to boss two as well. Right, and now over this, uh, sorry, this one, we are going to use a USA um, style because this is USA general. So what we want to do is uh, go to USA, which is here, and we're going to get this. Copy this and go down to here. Oops, yeah, that's fine. Is that right? Yeah, it's right. Okay, it just looks a bit weird. So basically, this is going to be... Um, so the shortcut window for the powers, so it's going to be USA styled. And this over here is the command set, basically. Uh, for example, all, all the things that I said over here, um, we were telling it it's going to be a new uh, command set. So it's not going to be a boss one, it's going to be a boss two. And then we're going to fill in the boss two. Um, okay, so shortcut. So this is basically how many things on the side you get. So the max you can have is 11. So we're going to do 11, fill it all up. Okay, now this over here, display name, I'm not going to change this. Now, realistically, if you want to make a general, you do want to change this, but I'm not going to. The reason is I want my boss to be a uh, multiplayer as well. And um, as you might know, or you might not know, people change the hotkeys. Now, if I change this, I'm going to have to change uh, the hotkey file. And if I add my own hotkey file into this patch, um, then it's not going to work because if someone has their own personal hotkey, it's still going to override and if someone has their own personal hockey and they put into the game mine's going to override theirs and they're going to lose the hockey so that's why i'm not going to touch this i don't want people to mess up with their hockey the only difference is going to be inside game is going to show boss general rather than showing boss 2 um like all the stats and stuff but okay now over here we also need hello there dark knight over here we're going to uh this is boss and i'm going to leave this for now so i'll show you what happens when i leave this so basically i'm going to start as boss general <laughs> instead of boss 2 uh but i'll show you that in a bit Okay, so score screen, uh, load screen, all the things, this all needs to be changed into USAs. So we'll do that in just a second. Actually, let's just, uh, where's it gone? Let's just open another play template and put that here just to make things easier. 
so go to USA so there we go so we want uh, this this stuff here welcome dark nine um, hopefully you can make a general as well so we're gonna copy these things and we're gonna put them uh, where have I gone here so score screen up to score screen music so there we go so this is now USA stuff because the USA general hello there art mafia thank you for coming okay uh, what else do we need to do uh, watermark needs to be a USA watermark so copy paste that uh, observer USA observer uh, don't need to change the beacon uh, side icon image so I'm gonna leave this as boss um, general image so this you don't need to leave like I said uh, some stuff that I didn't know I asked uh, predator Noel and uh, Vovin so they've helped me out so I didn't know what this was before so we actually don't need this right now for this and we're, not, we're actually not gonna work on this as well this is basically your image that shows up in the game so I'm gonna have to add it into the game and I'm not gonna show that on stream anyway uh, not now anyways too much okay so is it an old faction so this is we're not going to change this this is yes we're going to need this no what this means is actually it tells you here um so this means it should not be available if old factions only flag is set so you know in game you can choose original armies original armies is this so if you click yeah here in original armies this is also come up so we don't want to do that okay um tool tip we're not going to change these things okay so we can get rid of this now we don't need that okay so this is done I hope <laughs> okay, okay file save I'm gonna close that I'm gonna start up zero hour just to see if we have our new general or not yeah, okay start up zero hour by the way guys if you just came I'm not gonna well I don't think I will complete the whole general in today's stream but I will complete how I can uh, how much I can for now okay so uh, okay, that's a new map that I was making you don't need to see that right now. <laughs> you see it now, it doesn't really matter. Okay, Alpine Assault. Now you're going to see over here that we actually have missing side boss 2. Now, if you remember, uh, I said I'm not going to change all the stuff in that file because I have to change the hockey file. So I don't want to do that. So I'm going to leave that. So I'm going to have this missing thing, but it's not a really big problem. So now you'll see boss 2. Uh, so the new army is now working. We can see that. But when we load it, it's actually going to give us boss general because we chose boss general stuff. Uh, that I'm going to show you how to change that now. So you can see this is basically boss general. We will You'll see this special will fix that. So this is boss general. Now we're going to change, uh, fix this, and change this and this. So let's go and do that. Uh, I would advise you every time you mod and make something, if you've not done it before, uh, only update one thing at a time. Do not update everything at the same time because it's going to cause you problems. Uh, update one thing check it out update another thing check it out okay let's just um, do this or if you don't want to do that uh, up, um, load it up every time then you can just uh, write down uh, the five or six or seven things that you changed and then you know okay what we're going to do now is change this so we're going to change this to boss 2 and boss 2 so now when you load the game it's not going to work properly it's just going to crash when you load the game will load but when you go in the game and we try to load the boss 2 is going to crash because we don't have these units now we're going to make this unit and we're going to make the command center and very important that you name them exactly the same so we're going to keep this here for now put that there and we're going to go back to um actually no first we're going to fix uh, that bar so for this you need the uh, control bar scheme and you're going to go uh, not there you're going to go back into here and you're going to paste it here okay so now we're going to open this and then just quickly check the chat make sure i'm not missing anything no no and my stream is working nicely yep okay okay all good right so now what we're going to do is go to uh this america control bar so we're going to basically copy an american control bar and we are going to uh there it goes there it finishes so we're going to copy that and we're going to go right to the bottom uh, actually not to the bottom we're gonna go to nuke general and toxin general and demolition okay we're not there yet guys <laughs> nearly there stealth boss okay here we go uh, okay we were at the bottom my bad okay so now we are going to start renaming stuff 
So we are going to change this to, uh, I think you can change it to whatever you want, but I'm going to change it to boss, oops, general. So boss to general. Yeah. And then this part is important side. This has to be boss to. So this tells the computer, uh, of course, which side it belongs to. Now I don't need to change anything here. You can change all this if you want to. I'm not going to change anything here. This is basically, as you can see, the border color and the clock color and the um, border of the building and the action and everything basically in the control bars. So you don't need to change all of these. Uh, I'm missing anything. Let me just see. Uh, I don't need to do anything here. Um, no. That's fine. Yeah, so everything is USA. So that's done. And um, you can close that. And now, uh, let me just quickly check the chat. Don't want to miss anything in case you guys are saying stuff. No, you're not saying anything. That's fine. Okay, next thing we're going to do is uh, get a dozer. Now, my dozer is going to be a GLA dozer. So for the uh, GLA dozer, we're going to go to GLA vehicles. And we're going to copy this. So right click. And uh, where's copy gone? I don't use it. No. Where's copy? There it is. <laughs> I don't need shortcut. Right. Uh, okay. You have to go to object and right click paste. Okay. Now what we're going to do over here, we're going to, um, we are going to delete everything, delete and save. Okay. Now re that's this one, nothing inside now. Now I'm going to rename this to do dozer. You don't have to do it like this. You can actually leave it how it was with everything inside. But the reason I do it like this is, is less confusing. If you've only got one thing in one file, you can find everything easily. Otherwise, what happens is we're going to go back to in just a second now. Uh, let me just come back here. For example, this is the Air Force General. Look how big all that is. That, that can be very confusing. But if you only have one thing to look at, it's not as confusing. So we're going to go back to the GLA vehicle and we are going to find uh, uh, the dozer. Okay. So now what we're going to do is click here. And we are going to scroll down to the end, shift, copy all this, and close out. We don't need that anymore. Uh, and then we are going to open the dozer, which is empty, and we're going to paste. Okay, so now we've got GLA dozer. Uh, this doesn't belong to Boss 2 right now. So if you remember over here, inside the play template, we actually had a Boss 2 vehicle dozer. We have to copy this. A name has to match exactly. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So over here now, we are going to replace this. And we are going to paste. So boss to vehicle dozer. Now that's done, nearly. Now you have to come to the side and change this to boss 2. And there we go. Boss 2 dozer has now been added to the game. Although saying that, <laughs> it's, it needs a bit of work on. Uh, boss 2, uh, the jelly dozer is actually not fully coded. It's a bit messed up. And uh, I saw that already when I looked at it. There's, if you, th this is nothing. This should be like uh, eight or nine times more coding. So we'll do that afterwards. Let's just get this to work. So we've done that. Save, and we can close this. Okay. So we have now a boss two doors. Like I said, test this after every go. I'm not going to do it right now because hopefully it will work. But I'll come back to it if it don't work. But test it after every go. That's the best thing to do. Um, actually, the other thing we want to do is copy this again. So copy paste and now this one open it delete everything because this is going to be our command center let's save it actually let's close it first rename this oh rename uh, command center in the english way <laughs> so that's the english one and then just quickly check the chat in case i'm missing anything nope okay so and now we are going to go to the command center so what we want to do now is go back here and we're going to get a USA command center. USA command center is inside the faction building. Okay. So you can see that took us a second longer to load. And now we're going to find command center. Um, I have to do the American uh, spelling. So this is it. This is what I need. Now this is going to be kind of big. This is one of the reasons why I make a new file for it. Because basically you got all this code, all this code, all this code. And you're going to take all of this code. Keep on going, 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 keep on going. Is it not finished? Keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on. 
Okay, we're nearly there. So we've got quite a bit of code to go. Here we go. Uh, no, here we go. Okay, so there we go. And now we are going to copy and come into this, our command center, and paste. Now we don't need this anymore. Okay, so this is now our command center, which is not our command center yet. So remember this over here, command center, we don't need this anymore now. Uh, ooh. Did you not save it? Okay, save. Okay, so now we are going to rename this to boss2 command center. And uh, now we need to go down. I'm just going to skip fast. Okay, so I, I would advise not to change this. You can change this if you want to. But then you got to go into the hotkey area and change the name over there as well. Otherwise, you get uh, missing object in game. It says missing object for the name. So I'll leave that the way it is and change this to boss2. Okay, the, it's not as simple as it looks. I might have done this, that's it. But this is not going to give me everything I want. Remember I said I want all this stuff here. For example, all these, uh, not the upgrades. Uh, where's it gone? All these. So I need to add all these in. But I'm not going to add in right now. We're just going to get the main structures up. So this basic command center now belongs to boss2, as you can see. But it's going to work as a USA command center for now. But it doesn't matter. Let's get into game. Hopefully there's no serious errors. If there is, we'll have to work on it straight away. If I can find, hopefully find it. Uh, just a tip, though. Like I said, do uh, check it after every go. But if you end up getting an error and you can't find out what it is, open World Builder. World Builder helps you so much, and it'll tell you the errors. Okay, so we do have Boss Two here already selected. Uh, there we go, Boss Two, and we're gonna start the game now. You're gonna see hopefully along and don't crash. Okay, so USA Command Center with the USA Dozer which can't actually build anything because you're not giving it anything to build. So you can see it's actually working. Uh, look, this is a GLA dozer. Look how it moves. A GLA dozer is a real dozer in the game. And uh, you can see it moves differently. Uh, it only costs... How did it cost? Okay, it costs 1,000. Did it cost 1,000? No. Okay. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. Let's get to work. So there we go. All nice and working. So this is basically we've managed to get ourselves a dozer and a command center. Now we're gonna add some more buildings. And again, we're not gonna do everything at once. We're gonna do one step at a time. Then come back, once we've done the buildings, we'll come back to the command center, and then we'll add some new stuff and so on and so on. Okay. So let me just go back to that dozer. Let me just find the cost. It's only meant to be a hundred. Why did it go down by a thousand? Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, my mistake, my mistake. Because the command center actually had a USA daughter inside. We need to fix that up as well. Uh, no worries, though. Okay, so now we're going to make some more buildings. So let's start making these buildings. So we are over here. We've got the USA command center done. Now we're going to get the nuclear reactor. So remember what I said first. We're going to copy one of these, copy, paste, change it to reactor and everything inside we're going to delete and then we're going to go to the nuke general so find nuke over here and we're going to find the reactor so reactor here we go so once again we're going to click here hello there big smoke or big tony and we're just going to scroll down scroll down don't click don't click at all so if you click <laughs> you're not going to be able to uh, select it all you can keep it selected if you want uh, click down select it all as you're going down but sometimes you go too fast uh so yeah uh, so here nuclear reactor keep going keep going keep going keep going and here we go so keep shift pressed click here copy come here close that we don't need that anymore okay so now we're going to change this and rename it to boss to reactor okay so now this name we got to remember it boss 2 reactor uh, now we're going to go to here uh, which is a bit down and change the side to boss 2 in the meantime I'm also going to change the price because I want to I can change other stuff uh, but the, this uh, general I'm not going to be changing stuff I'm going to keep it the same as a re real uh, stuff um, Real start, so one thing I'll change are the time and cost and fix up anything that needs fixing. Now, one thing we want to do is take away the mines. So, we don't want mines. So, over here, what we're going to do is we are going to either you can delete all this 
or you can just remove it so you're going to go like this uh this basically removes uh the code it keeps the code there but it's removed it's not there anymore there's also um this upgrade that we need to change uh so this is basically telling the computer to add mines and then it's also telling the computer to um uh, change uh, basically you'll see when you upgrade it goes to the neutral mines so we don't want any of the mines uh, so that's why I'm removing them okay that's fine uh, one thing we want to do is come to the top uh, do we have upgrades here uh, oh no upgrade okay that's fine so this is done now we also have a nuclear reactor done Okay, now we're going to get a supply stash. So remember, we're going to go here. We're going to copy and paste, rename, supply stash. You can call it whatever you want. You call it Bobby if you want. We're going to delete everything. And then we're going to go to the GLA. So again, faction building because GLA, China, and USA are all inside the faction building. And we are going to find the supply stash. Okay. Now, one thing you have to be careful over here with the GLA is uh, they have the GLA hole. Now, you've got to decide, do I want a GLA hole or not? That matters. So, in my case, I do want a GLA hole. So, what I'm going to do for this, I have to, first of all, um, get all the way down here. And so, can you see over here? GLA supply stash, GLA hole. So, you also have to copy this as well. And here, I don't want the fake, so I'm not going to add that. Copy, paste. You also have to add something else in, uh, which is this over here. So you'll see a jelly hole. This is the original hole that all the jelly holes come back to. So you also need this for your um, faction. If you want the hole. If you don't want the hole, that's fine. So we're going to do that. We can close this. Okay. So now what's going to happen over here, you got two choices. Either you can leave this hole as it is, and uh, or you can rename it to boss 2 hole. Um, the reason I'm saying that is because um, if you leave the jelly hole, it still works because the game re recognizes the jelly hole. Uh, but if you want to uh, leave it as a boss 2 hole, that's fine as well because it just built up from there. So anyway. So we're going to change this, all this, everything that's a GLA, we're going to change it to boss 2. So we're going to go down to here, um, here, boss 2. Okay, supply stash. Now over here, what I'm going to do is change the uh, build time. So usually it just take, uh, actually, wait, what am I doing? Yeah. Um, yeah, usually it takes 20 seconds. So I'm going to change this myself. Um... I can't remember what it should be. What sh what should I keep it as? Uh, just give me a second. Actually, I've got too many things open here. Let me just also close this. Uh... Okay. So what I'm going to do here is. Uh this up because otherwise it's a bit too fast for no power needed so 20 seconds we're going to change it to refund value 650 you can leave that as it is uh, then you also want to change uh, this we're going to change this but not right now we're going to come back to it later but one thing we do need to change is uh, this uh, where's it gone where the oh, okay we don't actually have it so uh, I'll show you guys in a second what I mean over here uh, let me go back. Let me see if I can find it inside here. Uh, no, it's not in that one. Uh, let's see this one. No, actually, it won't be in there. Okay, we'll add it in in a second when we do the next building. So let's just save this over here for now. And the other thing we need to do now is go down to here. Uh, so GLA, uh, you have to change. Uh, actually, no. Before that, we've got to change uh, here. Okay. So GLA hole supply stash. 
So basically, look behavior rebuild whole. So we just rebuild the uh, rebuild it. So what's it going to rebuild? So it's going to whole name GLA whole supply stash. So we're going to change this to boss two whole supply stash. And now, what we, so basically, this is going to build a boss two whole supply stash. And we're gonna we're gonna tell the computer what that is. Okay, so spawn behavior GLA infantry worker. You can have anything here. So we are going to change this to boss two, but for now we'll leave it for now until we don't make a boss two uh, worker. So we we'll leave that for now. And um, let's see. I think that's all done here. I think so. Have I missed anything? No. Uh, okay. Anyway. Wait, who's here? Gailani. Oh, hello, Gailani. Just went to check the chat. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to everyone that's here, by the way. So a lot of you watching already. That's quite impressive. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we are going to change this. So remember, above we changed it to boss 2. So boss 2 hole. And this over here, we have to change to boss 2. So basically what this means, object reskin, is saying this boss 2 hole supply stash, which is this over here, is actually another way of saying it's a boss two hole, which is right at the top, boss two hole. So like I said, this is the main, uh, like GLA hole. So the main hole that's needed to build the buildings. And uh, basically this over here is just another name for this. So this is gonna rebuild the original uh, boss two hole. Okay, so this is fine. We don't have to do anything here. Have I missed anything at the top for this one though? That's the question. Uh, no. Okay, oh, here. So, um, do we need that? Okay, we'll just change it anyway. I think we should be doing, I can't remember to be honest. Um, do we need to change that? I think we do. Uh, okay. If I remember afterwards, I'll come back to it if it's right or wrong. Okay, so that's done. And we're going to leave this here for now. Like I said, we're going to have to add something in and we'll come back to that. So let's get to here. Leave that there. And now we're going to move on to the next thing. So next thing is going to be the USA barracks. So again, we're going to go to uh, faction building. Actually, before we do that, let's copy one. Copy, paste, change this to uh, barracks, open that. Uh, we can close this one for now, I think. Actually, let's just keep it open over here. Uh, down here, there we go. So this one, we can delete. Put that here. And now we're going to open the faction building, which is over here. There we go. I'm going to find the barracks. So don't need that one. Keep finding it till you find the USA. There we go. America barracks. So we're going to click here. And once again, we're going to scroll down. So this is only the easy part of it, guys. <laughs> we got a lot more to do. I think it's going to take many hours. I'm not going to do many hours right now. So copy this, paste, close this again. Okay, so now the America, we're going to change it to boss 2. Okay. And now we're going to go down uh, to here. And we're going to change this to well, boss 2. Remember, you can change whatever you want over here if you want to. We also need to change this, so but we're not going to do this right now. We'll come back to this, but boss two barracks command set. We have to change this as well. Uh, basically, that means what did this barracks produce? So right now it's going to produce uh, American units. So Ranger, Missile Defender, Pathfinder, Burton. So this is what it's going to make right now. So we're going to change this afterwards to boss two, and it's going to have some new stuff inside it. Okay, so this is basically what I was talking about before. So we're going to copy this. Uh, copy. And we're going to go back to the supply stash. And we're going to add it in. So we're going to add it in. Uh, let's add it in the same place. Where is it over here? So under the experience value. Okay, normally it's up there. I'll just add it in over here. Oops. Oh, I didn't do anything wrong. Let me just close that. If you, if you think you're going to do something wrong, just uh, close it and restart. So let's just close that, open it again, and we're going to go to, okay, here we are. So we're going to add it into here. So now what we're going to do is remove this. Remember, wherever this is, it removes that line. So we want to bring that line back. And we don't want an America power plant. 
we, what we want is we want this one boss 2 reactor so we're going to copy that close this what this means is the supply stash can only be built once you, you build the reactor so if you don't want this and you want the supply stash to be built straight away you can leave it but i want the supply stash to be built only if the reactor comes in so i'm going to save that now i can close it okay so the price i'm happy with and uh, i think i'm happy with everything else over here and there are more things that i have to change for example um you don't have to do this but i'm going to change this this over here basically means uh, when you destroy the barracks it's going to give you some ranges so you if you want to you can change this uh, not here where i'll show you afterwards it's basically inside uh, it's inside here this one here so you come here and you change it to whatever you want and it'll spawn whatever you want explain how to add a new image okay deleted it um so uh yeah so we're going to do this later on this is going to be like not the last thing but uh, later on once we've got the whole thing up and running so yeah so this is done this barracks we can save it and you can close it i think it's done let me just see boss 2 yeah okay boss 2 is done now the next thing we want is a usa war factory so remember guys i'm not going to finish everything today it's going to take way too long we're already streaming for um how long let me check 42 minutes so far <laughs> why are you deleting your thing how to add a picture and then you delete it so once again copy paste rename war factory and open it uh, oops went on the wrong screen and now we're going to delete this and press save and then we're going to come here and once again faction building over here and we are going to find the war factory oops if i can spell there you go war factory so not that one this one over here and we're going to go all the way down once again so it's a long way down uh not as bad as the command center i don't think actually it is <laughs> so keep going down keep going down keep going down until you do find uh here war factory nearly finished and here we go so copy this we need this now and we're going to paste this into here okay so remember this does not add anything into the game just yet uh, well i mean uh we won't see anything in the game this should only add it to the world builder a new image to the general icon oh that's one thing i said i won't be showing uh right now maybe in the future but because is it's not as easy as this you've got to add in new files and stuff uh so that's going to take some time uh you can overwrite an old file but that won't add one for this one um but yeah that's going to take some time so maybe in a future video but it won't be today unfortunately i did say that at the start of the stream that there's some things i won't be showing and that was one of them okay so boss 2 uh we have changed the warfare to boss 2 now over here pre uh, prerequisites pre uh, can't say it uh, so we've got to change this otherwise what's going to happen is to build the war factory you're going to have to make an american supply center which we don't want we don't want an american supply center because then you've got to capture an american dozer uh, so what we want over here and go back to our supply stash uh, not this uh, one minute let's scroll down i live in where do you live in england i live in the north in a place called Huddersfield. okay so no problem lewis uh possible in a future video but like i said it's too much uh to show the, you gotta open other files tga programs and stuff and it's it's not <laughs> something simple for right now so we want this supply stash copy this and we're going to come to the war factory and over here we're going to change this into a supply stash now when we build a supply stash we will be allowed to build a war factory okay again i'm not going to change stats i want it to be just like zero hour but you can change whatever you want over here anything you want you can change whatever yeah you can change those stuff so basically now the war factory has been added to world builder okay you can actually test this so if you go to world builder uh you can also find errors so let's see if you've uh, made any errors so far if possible let's see let's see okay no error so far nice now let's just see over here so if you see this over here you can see we've got a boss 2 now if you go to boss 2 go to structure 
you can see we've got a USA command center and a barracks we've got a, a nuke reactor we've got a supply stash and we also got a war factory so we actually got some stuff uh, system so this is a, a hole basically if you put this down um, it'll rebuild actually that won't re uh, Will that rebuild into anything, anything? I don't know. But this over here will rebuild into a supply stash. So we also got that. And if you go into vehicle, we have a boss 2 vehicle dozer. So you can see it's actually working. Uh, like I said, this will only be in the world builder at the moment because we've not added it. We've not told the game where to add it. We just told the game to add it into the files. We've not actually told the game to, for example, we've not told the game to add the barracks to the dozer. We've not done that yet. I'm not told to add the command center, reactor, supply set, or property, anything to the dozer. So it's not actually going to do anything right now. Uh, the only thing you can do, for example, you're going to go into World Builder and make a map, and you can add these things in, and you'll start getting all the funky stuff. So let's go on to the next one. I think that's probably going to be another video, because as you can see, we're only here yet, and it's already been 45 minutes. And we've got to do all this, and then we're going to start working on or or um giving stuff, giving uh, the buildings to the dozers and stuff. So after we get here, we'll give the things to the dozer, and then we'll add the things to the supply stash, then we'll add the things to the barracks. Uh, but we also have to make all of this. So you've got to make a rebel, an RPG, a missile defender. So it's going to take quite some time. Uh, so like that, it probably won't be all today. Okay, copy this and paste. And we're going to come here and delete everything. So save that there. And then we're going to go to the Air Force General. Because I want it to be an Air Force. Uh, so as you can see over here. I want it to be an Air Force Airfield. Which is going to be a bit more expensive though. Because you know the Air Force General. So we're going to add that here. And we're going to find the Airfield. So Airfield. That's not it. 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 Uh, still not found it. There we go. Okay. So now we're going to click there. And scroll all the way down. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Hello there, buddy. Welcome to the live stream. So we're going to come down to here now. And we are going to finally get to the end. Uh, this is a long one as well. Like I said, this is why I do every uh, file separately. Because it's very easy to get confused. Okay, uh, there. So copy this. We're going to place it here. Now you might be wondering why I'm using the Air Force General Airfield. What's the difference between USA and Air Force? Now the difference is that the Air Force General Airfield is actually... I'm not going to show you now. It'll take too long. But the Air Force General Airfield is actually uh, stronger. Oh, I didn't even rename it. Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's actually stronger than a standard airfield uh, by quite a bit. It's got extra 1000 HP. So like I said, I could do this myself, but I don't want to change the USA, uh, uh, sorry, the zero hour stats or anything. So I'm not going to. So boss two. Now, how do we want to make the airfield? So we are going to follow the war factory. How the war factory? Over here, boss two supply stash. So we're also going to take this and we're going to add it here. So just like you need the supply center for USA, you need the supply stash for boss 2. Now we're also going to change the price to 900. Build time 30 seconds, that's standard, that's fine. Uh, also remember, build time 30 seconds means build time with power 30 seconds. If there's no power, it means uh, it'll be double, so it'll be 60 seconds. Uh, again, you can, if you want to mod your own game, you can change that as well. So power, no power, build the same. Or no power, build 10 times slower, no power, build 1 times slower. Uh, or half time slower or whatever you want okay so we don't need to change anything over here like I said we will come back to this afterwards and change it you don't need to it's still gonna spawn rangers but I want it to spawn boss 2 rangers and uh, not that it matters because all, all of them are gonna spawn American rangers so you, you don't actually have to change that maybe, maybe you want to change it for the stream sake because it'll just make everything longer or maybe uh, if I don't show you any uh, OCL stuff object creation list um then i'll make it but if i do show you somewhere else i suppose i don't need to show you okay so boss 2 airfield is now up and running you can close that uh next thing emp patriot so let's actually change this to airfield first and we're going to copy paste 
change this to EMP Patriot and delete everything. And now we're gonna to go to what did I just do? Okay, wrong one. We're gonna go here to the super weapon general and we are going to this taking very long <laughs> and I only imagine how long it's gonna take. I didn't know how long it's gonna take. Uh it's called Patriot. There you go, super weapon America uh Patriot battery. So we're gonna click here uh, scroll down. This hopefully shouldn't take as long as the airfield. Uh, yeah, it didn't. Okay, that's good. And then we're going to scroll down to here. Shift, copy. Close this. We don't need that. Come here and paste. And now we are going to rename this to Boss2. You can name this to anything, like I said. You can call it Bob. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. You can, this is the name that the game is going to read, and this is the name that has to match. So, for example, when you tell the doors, uh, oh, sorry, no. When you want the dozer to have uh, to be able to build uh, this defense, uh, actually EMP. So if you want the dozer to build this, you have to have this name, whatever it is. You can call it Bob, and it build an EMP Patriot. So whatever you want to name it, you can call it. I don't know. You can call it USA China GLA, and then the dozer will know that the USA China GLA is actually an EMP Patriot, and you gotta build that. Okay. Can't watch now, but thanks for making this. I'll be watching the VOD later. No problem. Thank you for passing by or being here. Okay, so don't change this. Like You can change this if you want to. But if you change this and you don't change the hotkey file, what's going to happen is going to say missing object and then it'll say the name. So if you call this, again, Bob. <laughs> don't know why I'm using Bob, but yeah. So in game, it'll say missing object, Bob. So it doesn't really matter, but yeah. It's better not to change it unless you're going to change the hotkeys. Boss 2, save. Uh, and now over here, we actually want a reactor. So we're going to go back to our reactor over here. You can type it, but to save yourself problems, I'd advise you just to copy it. Copy, paste, you can close this. And yeah, so I'm not going to change the price, not going to change the build time, not going to change the power. This is how much power is taken. You can change it to whatever you want. And over here, do we need to change anything? No, 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 no. Everything is fine, everything is working. What the? That's quite interesting. I was actually thinking about doing that. It's already here. That's quite cool. I did learn something right now. Uh, basically, what this is, this means it's not going to happen. But we can make it work if you want to. Basically, the code's not finished off. But if you, because this code exists for the EMP Patriot, you can actually give the EMP Patriot drones. So, look, it tells you you can build a battle drone, a point defense drone, and a hellfire drone. Okay. Uh, okay, so no actual spy drone. But you can actually build uh, a battle drone, and a point defense drone, and a hellfire drone. Uh, so the three different drones that EMP Patriot are actually going to get, but I didn't get it. So we just learned that right now. Cool. I must have missed that before. That's quite nice to know. I was actually planning to add that to the defenses. <laughs> okay, anyway, so we don't need this anymore. We've done this one. Oops, we didn't save it though. Uh, okay, next thing we want is the Stinger site. So once again, we're going to copy and paste and uh, rename Stinger site. Oops. Stinger steer open this delete everything and then we're gonna to go to faction building because we're gonna take a GLA one and we're gonna type in stinger site okay now one thing with the stinger site is the rocket soldiers we are going to make our own uh, we could use the original ones but because I want to give some upgrades uh, so we're gonna to have to make our own uh, okay Copy, paste, close. And uh, we are here. By the way, welcome to so many people here. I did not expect so many people to be here. Let me just quickly check how many people are actually here. Oh man, so many of you. Nice. I actually got likes as well. You guys are awesome. Okay, go to cost. Uh, not cost, sorry. Side, boss 2. Uh, now we've got to change this. So. I could type in boss 2 barracks, but I don't want to make a mistake. So I'm going to go to the barracks, boss 2, and over here. 
you can change this to anything if you want for example the stinger site i don't know you made it op you made it super powerful but you don't want it to be early so you can change this to for example war factory or strategy center whatever you want and it'll become that so i'm not going to change anything over here um there is oh actually i missed something out uh did i add the hole no i didn't okay i've got to come go back because uh, i need to add the hole stinger site so i need to go down to the hole because i forgot to add it in okay so we also need to if you remember i told you about the gla hole so we're also going to add this in copy that here you can f close that now also going to add that in. so that basically allows the the um a stinger site to rebuild itself so of course we want that um let me just quickly ch check the chart in case i'm missing anything okay so now over here i'm not going to uh, do 15 seconds because remember this has got power so this 15 seconds means 15 seconds with power so jl stinger site will take 30 seconds to build so i'm going to change this one to 20 seconds uh because you have to remember if you've got low power animate this is going to take still 40 seconds to longer than the standard stinger site which is 30 seconds okay i don't need to change anything here but what i do need to go down to is that hole so you can see stinger soldier we're going to change that in the future hopefully uh this this is what we need to change uh so over here we're going to change it to a boss to hole stinger site okay and we're going to copy this copy this and we're going to go down uh let me see the animal uh, one minute in case i'm missing anything else uh come on ing no okay so now we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to here or we already scrolled here and we're going to change this to uh the one that we just copied so boss 2 whole stinger site so remember what i said uh where's it gone it's going to rebuild a hole so which hole is it going to rebuild so hello there Teguru. thank you for coming so this thing is going to rebuild a hole which hole is it going to rebuild a boss 2 whole stinger site and so basically it's going to rebuild it's going to build this 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 building which is a hole okay and now this over here is telling you that this thing that's going to be built is actually a gla hole so but we actually made our own so boss 2 hole yeah so so now basically if you remember when we made the supply stash uh over here uh where's it gone here so we had a boss 2 hole so this was going to be renamed a uh, remade so that's over here boss 2 hole and we can uh, actually did we even do the pre uh, uh yes we did okay so now you can save this and you can close this one as well okay so like i said i'm not gonna make this super long stream today i do feel kind of tired doing this already it's a lot of uh, mental work for me uh we're gonna i'm gonna try to finish these off if i don't finish them off i'm sorry guys we will carry on another day but i'm gonna try to finish these off at least so at least all the buildings are done and then i'll show you how to add one of the buildings to uh the dozer and that's about it for now i think okay next thing we're gonna do bunker and no mines remember nuclear reactor no mines we're also gonna have no mines for the bunker so once again copy and paste change this to bunker and open it and delete everything okay now once again we're gonna have to go to faction building faction building and find the bunker here we go came up straight away if you don't have to do find it's control f and we're going to scroll all the way down so once again the reason i do this it makes it easier to find stuff and uh, also um less chance of getting muddled up on stuff okay we are going to go to here there we go copy this and this is our bunker and we are going to paste into here right 
Now let's give a num uh, bunker new name. So boss two bunker. This is our bunker. We also have to put it on to the boss two side, so it belongs to the boss two. Uh, boss two barracks. So I think I'm confident enough to rename China to boss. But remember, if you're not, just go to the barracks, go here, copy, and come here. Uh, where's it gone? And paste. Okay, so um. One second, guys. Let me just check the message. Okay, anyway. All good. Oh, actually, I missed something. Uh, auto repair. Uh, we'll come back to that afterwards. We'll do the auto repair. I meant to put auto repairs on the buildings that aren't USA ones. So, if them nu nuclear reactor supply stash and stuff. But we'll do that after. Okay, so boss two barracks, that's fine. And we also want to remove the mines. So remember, I said you can delete this or completely delete it. Or if you want to keep it there in case you might come back to it, I don't know. Uh, so I'm going to leave it in. Oops. Okay. Um, Where's the uh, here it is? So remove that, remove that, remove that, remove this. We also want to change this. Oops. Okay. I think that's everything done. Uh actually give me a second. Uh, I'm just trying to think of uh, where's it gone. Uh, where's it gone? This one. What did this one do? Production update. Uh, I don't think we need that. So I'm sure that's to do with the. Uh, we don't have any upgrades, so it's all right. We can take that out. Okay. So the bunker is done. So remember right now, realistically, you should be testing, uh, but I'm not going to test. <laughs> I know you obviously shouldn't say stuff that you don't do yourself, but uh, the reason uh, you don't have to test, oops, I wrote that wrong, speak to, speak to tower. But the reason I advise is so you can easily catch up mistakes uh, that you made. Um, like I said, you can always open world builder to find out mistakes. Hello there, YouTube username 64. Thank you for coming to the live stream. Okay. So now we want to go back to uh, the faction buildings here. Uh, where's it gone? Here we go. And find why am I spelling it wrong? Speaker tower. Any childhood you'd have loved this. <laughs> yeah, I probably would have done as well if I knew how to make it then. Uh, I only learned after modding uh, about maybe four years ago or something. I don't know. Okay, speaker tower, copy, come here. So this is speaker tower. We're going to delete everything and paste. Okay, so we're going to change the speaker tower to boss 2. And over here, subliminal messaging upgrade, that's fine. So this basically shows the upgrade that's on the speaker tower. That's what I'm trying to look for before uh, with the nuclear reactor. Um, let's go down to the side come here boss 2 and um, okay so remember I did say before we need to change stuff around so for example uh, this we are going to change this but this for later on this basically tells the, uh, the sorry the speaker tower what it has on its um, command list uh, so the bar at the bottom, when you click on speaker tower, it has cell, for example. So um, I'm going to give it, if you know, over, if you remember seeing over here, uh, where's it gone? So speaker tower is going to have the subliminal messaging upgrade inside the speaker tower. So this, I'm going to have to change it to something new. I can change it, call it whatever I want. I can call it one, two, three. And then inside the one, two, three, I'm going to add in the subliminal messaging upgrade. So right now we need to change the propaganda because we don't have propaganda center, first of all. And secondly, I don't want speaker tower so late. 
So we're going to get the barracks, and I want it with the barracks. So we're going to put here the barracks, okay? Uh, so this speaker tower is now ready to use as well. Um, let's quickly check through here. So the mines, uh, you can actually leave this in if you want to, because there's actually no mines on speaker tower. Uh, but we'll just take them out, just because we did it with the rest. Uh, but you could actually give the speaker tower mines if you actually add the button for it. Uh, hmm. I actually took that out of the last time. Uh, I think it didn't really matter without without having the mines and stuff. It didn't really matter. So, okay, there we go. Okay, speaker tower is now done. Let me just quickly check the chat in case I'm missing anything from anyone. Uh, where the chat gone? Here we are. Very nice that so many of you are still watching. And so many of you who liked the video, that is just awesome. We already have 19 likes, I don't believe it. That is awesome. Okay, so once again, I'm going to copy, paste. And what's the next thing on our list? Uh, after speaker tower, where are we? Black market. So change this to black market. Actually, one thing I'm going to do, uh, don't get confused right now. Matey, welcome Matey. I'm just modding zero hour over here. Showing how to mod it. Uh, where's uh, the supply stash gone? What we're going to sorry, what we're going to do is this over here, the boss hold. We're going to move it. We don't want it here. We're going to cut from here, save that, and we're going to add it to this. Okay, because the black market is going to come at the top, and hopefully that'll make it work better. I don't know, just in case to be safe. Uh, do I need to do any of this? Uh, I don't remember actually. No, because I'm not changing anything. Okay, now we're going to get a, a black market. So we're going to place this here. We are going to go to the faction building again because we're getting a standard black market. And we are here, GAD black market. So once again, scroll down. Uh, they did say before if anyone has any questions and stuff, you're welcome to ask them, but I might not answer them. Uh, if it's going to take too long, for example, or distract me, or if it's a video that I need to show, like show stuff, so then I probably won't answer them uh, because I don't want to go off topic too much. Oh, need, nearly forgot again. We need the hole. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to go here and we are pasting. Right. So now remember, we've got this boss 2 hole. Don't need to touch that at all. Uh, that's fine. Don't need to touch that. Now we're here at the black market. So we're going to we want a boss to black market okay we also have this um, fortified structure upgrade now I'm not gonna give the fortified structures upgrade to the boss 2 but what I am going to do I'm going to give uh, you'll see over here uh, if I can find composite armor with comp here composite armor all vehicles and dozer will get it all defenses will get it speaker tower will get it the black market will get it and the drones will also get it because uh, I want this to be an armor general so black market we're actually going to give it uh, this so what we're going to do over here uh, we're going to change this but not right now we're going to change this afterwards so let's just come down to here okay so we're going to change this to boss 2 and uh, we are also going to uh, sorry one second guys okay we're also going to change a few things here so we need to change this uh, GLA palace thing so what we're going to do over here is we're going to go to the airfield we're going to copy this because over here if you if you here at the start the black market can be built with a war factory an air force uh, sorry an airfield or a strategy center so what we're going to do is here, we're going to add boss to airfield, put a space, go to the war factory, copy this, and paste it. And then when, when we add a strategy center, which we haven't added in yet, we're also going to paste that. What, they, what this means is you can build an airfield to build the market, or, or you can build a war factory to build the market. And if you put a strategy center here, say, or a strategy center. If you actually have, um, as a side note, 
if you have it like this, uh, one minute. If you have it like this, this means you have to have War Factory and Airfield. And if you just have them on one line, it means Airfield or War Factory. So it doesn't matter which one you have. Okay, one thing which I am going to do, I'm going to put the uh, building speed a bit higher. So it's going to take a bit longer to build. Usually it takes 60 seconds to build, but this is going to take 30 seconds because of power. So I'm going to make it 35 seconds. Maybe I should make it even more. But once again, we are going to change this, but afterwards, um, okay, this as well, we're going to change this. Uh, we're not going to have this. Like, actually, we might as well take it now because it is not going to be any 45 structures upgrade. So we're going to take that out. Sorry, guys, just check the chat in a second. Um, yeah, and then we're going to come down to here. So this armor upgrade, we don't need that as well. Take that out in a second. But we're going to keep this because what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it composite armor. When I give it composite armor, I'm going to change this to composite armor. So what will happen is when you do the composite armor upgrade, um, automatically the it look like it's got 45 buildings. Obviously, it won't be the same, but it'll just look like it. Uh, oh, help, welcome. Sorry, I can't see your name. How? Uh, sorry, I can't see your name. Uh, but yeah, welcome anyway. Uh, so yeah, let's just uh, change this for now. So get rid of this, get rid of this. Get rid of, don't need that because like I said, we're not going to change the armor. Otherwise, what would happen, you could leave it. So what would happen is when you get, if you capture GLA, no, well, GLA supply stash and you build a palace with the worker, uh, then if you get the upgrade, <laughs> you'd also fortify uh, your uh, black market. But I don't want that. Um, okay. Uh, now we need to, yeah, this part here. So we're going to tell it to, if it's destroyed, so once it's destroyed, it's going to rebuild a hole. And remember, what hole is going to make? This time it's going to make a boss 2 hole, uh, black market. So that's what it's called. Yeah. And that's all done. Now we've got to come down to uh, here. Uh, so boss 2 hole, we're going to change that. Boss 2 hole, black market. And it's remember, it's... Boss 2 hole black market is what? It's actually a boss 2 hole. Okay, that's done. Save. We can now close that. Nice. Um, just quickly check the chat again. 21 likes. You guys are awesome. Smashed it. <laughs> I love it. Nice. Okay, next thing that we are going to do. Are we nearly done? Yes, we're nearly done. Okay, I am super tired. You don't know how tired I am from doing this right now. <laughs> so I'm going to just do this section only, guys. And then I'm going to... Uh, show you how to add one or two buildings to the dozer and that's it I'm not gonna do any more for today because I'm tired okay um, now what we are going to do is we're going to make a strategy center so I'm gonna copy and paste this open this uh, close that I uh, sorry delete that and actually give me a second guys i just want to quickly do something okay thank you for that uh wrong thing uh so once again faction building uh actually no we're not gonna go faction building we're gonna go air force general and we are going to go to strike center and the reason is why uh, simple I'll tell you just a second because I'm going to give it start this um, Air Force uh, where's the center gone it's gonna have the Air Force carpet at rank 5 so because I want that um, I could code it myself but if the code is already inside the strategy center so what's the point doing it again so I'm just gonna use the Air Force strategy center so I'm not going to change other codes but I just want that carpet code already added we are going to have to change it a bit anyway uh, because we're going to record the carpet okay so here let's just find that carpet so i can show you guys uh somewhere here somewhere here somewhere here carpet carpet what are you uh here we are so this over here basically is gonna is gonna uh spawn this uh so yeah but that's probably not going to be today that we're going to do this. So get rid of that. Add that to the war factory. Uh, actually, what have I done over here? 
Oops. Did I just open the wall factory? I think I just deleted the wall factory. Oh no, I haven't. So let's just close out. Let's change it to strategy center. There you go. Ah, okay, that's all right. I got a bit scared there. Okay. So now we're going to change this to boss 2. And just quickly check the chat. Yep. We've got so many files open, so it's easy to miss the chat. Um, now we're going to go to side. I'm going to change this to boss 2. Okay, now over here in the strategy center, we are still going to have this, but we're going to have it in the boss. So we're going to go to the airfield, like they're going to copy and paste. So copy, uh, where's it going? Airfield, paste. I'm going to go to the war factory, copy, and paste. So remember, this means you can make a war factory or an airfield to make the strategy center. Now, we also need to change this, but again, that's not today. Uh, is there anything else that needs changing on this? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I think this is all right. Okay, remember, we're going to do some more changes yet, but this is just for simple stuff. Okay, particle cannon. Uh, PESA, I changed this to uh, Particle Uplink Cannon. Open that. Delete everything. I'm uh, just going to quick check the chat again because I don't have it open on this side. Okay. Okay, now we're going to go to the Super Weapon General. So Super Weapon General is down here. And we are going to find the Particle Uplink Cannon. Oops, gone past it. Uh, find it again. Particle. And uh, let's just find. Actually, no. Let's find cannon. There you go. Particle cannon on plink because it's got a different way the name is. Um. Okay. Now we're gonna change this down. Now we're not gonna change anything on here. We're not, we're not gonna change the colors. We're not gonna change anything. If you want to change the colors, you can do that. I won't be showing that in this stream anyway. Maybe a future stream or something, but you have got to change. You can change the values and all this look, all these things. You can change it, mess around with it. Uh, all the colors aren't here anyway, but I'm saying you can change it, the value. So copy that, paste. Okay. Now we are going to up uh, rename boss two and find the side. Change that to boss two as well. Now, what do you need? If we don't want it to have a a super weapon strategy center because that doesn't make sense. So we're going to go come here, copy this, place that here for now because we need that again in a second. And uh, okay, so that's fine. And uh, we don't want the price to be, f we want the price to be normal 5,000. Okay, um, I think that's everything done for now. We're not going to change anything here. Yeah, that's fine. Now we also need to, if you remember, we're going to go back to the black market. We also need to go to, uh, oh, that was a hole. There we go. Uh, there. We need to go to this and we are going to get this and go like this. Okay. Okay. So this is done nicely. Now this means I can build any of them three things. I can save this, close up. Okay guys, we have done everything from here. Now, first we're gonna open World Builder, see if there's any errors before I do uh, add a building to the dozer. Okay, thankfully no errors. This does not mean that the game's working. Uh, World Builder detects a lot of errors, not all the errors. So there's no errors. If you want to see an error, let me just show you. Um, let me try to think of an error right now. I know I've got an idea. So what I'm going to do is, so I'm going to do that. I've saved that. Actually, no, I don't want to do that one. Uh, close that one. Let me come here. No, too much. Uh, let me go to the dozer. That's easier to do. Okay. I don't want to mess anything up. So now if you come here, if you open it now, I've actually got a coding error here. Yeah, look, there we go. So you can see, I tried to open a world builder and straight away told me the 919 of this file so this one here dozer line 19 it's got some weird thing happening there's some coding error 
So I can find I can count line 19 or I can just find it. So if at 19. So it's saying that this over here, there's something dodgy with this. And the reason it's mentioning this is because I took this out. Now there should be this end. This basically finishes this and starts a new section. But because I removed this, it was reading this in this section. So yeah, so very good to have that. Open uh, world builder find errors. And also you can open, uh, I'll show you afterwards, maybe in the stream. You can also open the report crash. Okay, so I'm gonna, just gonna show you now how to um, add the buildings to the dozer. So first of all, let's open the dozer again. Uh, what this file over here? Oh, I've got the dozer twice. Okay, uh, now we need the command set. So what we are going to do is, uh, this is crossed out, so we don't want to cross it out, we want it back. And we're going to change this to boss to dozer command set, okay? Now this is, you need you need this, we're going to keep this here. But the guys, stream is coming to an end very soon now, after showing you uh, this, just letting you know in advance. So now what we need right now is a command button, and we also need a command set. So we're going to copy these two, and we're going to come here. And we're going to go back into here and okay so command button we're going to come here and what we're going to do now is we are going to find the you uh, the command center uh, yeah command center for the USA so this command construct America command center we're going to copy this copy and we're going to come back to the top here and we're just going to make a new section for yourself. So we're going to call this. We're going to. You don't have to do this, but I'm just doing it so I can find it easy. Well, I should be able to find it anyway. Easy. Okay. So this. Remember, this means do not read this line. So you can write whatever you want over here. Look, blah blah blah. <laughs> and the game not going to send it to you because it's not going to read it. Okay. So over here, we're going to paste the command center, and now we are going to go to our command center, which is here. I'm going to copy command center and what we're going to do is where it says America command center this you can name whatever you want but I'm just going to name it the same just to make it easier so boss to command center so this thing command construct so it's going to say make something what's it going to make a command center but that's not going to make the command center that's going to make an American command center so this just this is just for us to read this is um, for the human eye to read and this over here is for the game to read so this is what the game is going to read. The game is going to read a, now a boss to command center. We're not going to change these things over here. So this is kind of command is telling that you have to make something. So the game reads that. Uh, it tells it what to make. And when you hover over it, what's it going to show? So you're going to, again, you can change this in the hotkey to whatever you want. A button image, you can change it to whatever you want. You can add your own images in. Uh, uh, it's saying it's a build order. Uh, button type actually. Oh, sorry, border type, sorry. Uh, and the label. So, again, so you can change this to whatever you want. But anyway, we have now added our first building. Okay, so we saved that now. Put that down here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is... Uh, one second. Let me just quickly check everything. Okay, uh, yeah, where was I? Uh, yeah, so now I need a command set. Have I opened the command set? No, I haven't. Let's open the command set. And we're going to come here. Uh, now what we're going to do is go to the dozer. So we're going to find dozer command sets. And over here, America dozer command set. So we're going to, uh, we don't need all of that actually, but we'll just copy it for now. We'll delete it all in a second. Okay, so we are going to just paste it over here. So we're going to change it to boss two, so we can find it easily, or we know what it is. Uh, let me quickly check the chat. To rule. Okay, so now over here, command set America does a command set. Now this is one of the things that World Builder won't uh, tell you. For example, if you remove this line and uh, open up world builder it won't tell you there's an error there so there's something that world builder won't tell you and you're just gonna have to figure it out sometimes 
So anyway, this command set goes back to the game. So we've got many files open here, don't get confused. So we're going to go back to the dozer. And you remember here we made this. So remember this file over here tells the dozer what it can do. So at the bottom of the game over here, you have, uh, whenever you click on something, there's buttons and boxes appear over here. So this is this line over here. This line over here tells the game what to put here. So we're going to take this and we're going to swap it with the America Dozer. So now what this means is that the boss to Dozer can build all these things. So you can build an American power plant, you can build a strategy center, you can build this, you can build that. Now, we're not going to change anything from here right now. But what we are going to do is this command button over here. We made a command center, remember? So this over here, this file tells the AI, uh, sorry, the computer, uh, the, the game, what to build. So it's going to show the human this. The human is going to read boss to command center. And uh, it's going to tell the computer to build this. So we're going to copy this. Well, this actually tells the computer as well, not us. We're going to go to the command center. We don't need the American command center. We actually need our boss 2 command center. Now we're going to put that here. And we don't actually need all of these things. So we're going to delete, delete. Actually, forget that. Uh, let's just delete it like this. So, um, okay, let's go like this. Remember, this doesn't delete. It just, uh, well, it deletes it, but it leaves a code in there. Uh, where did my command center go? Did I delete my command center? <laughs> I think I just deleted my command center. Yeah, okay, so let's add it back in. Right. So, and now, hopefully, our dozer should make a command center. Let's just close all of these things. Close this. Close this. Okay, so let's load up the game. Actually, let's open up World Builder first to see if there's any uh, errors. And this is going to be the last thing, guys. Hopefully there's no errors. Yeah. Okay, no errors. We can close this. Let's load up the game. And I'm gonna end the stream with this hopefully. EA games. So remember we've not changed the command center command set. So the command center will still make USA doses. But the first doser we've got will build um uh, a command center that belongs to the boss too. So you're gonna see now, hopefully. So you've got command center. This is a USA dozer, not a boss 2. And this over here is a boss 2 dozer, which can make a command center. So there we go, guys. We've actually made the first command center. So this over here, we've got to fit it all in. We've got to repeat all them steps to make a button. And then we can finally uh, add them all to here. So we're actually making a command center. We can't make anything else at the moment because we're not told the computer to tell the dozer to do it. Uh, but we can find them all in the world builder like I told you guys okay so I'm gonna finish it there guys hopefully you guys did enjoy that stream I am going to try to carry on with this um, as much as I can and I hope to be able to as well but yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in another video